Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is a very exciting video because we are going to try out some magnetic eyelashes. Of course, they're false eyelashes and this is by Magnetic SL. So let's go ahead and get started. Little quick story, I have been waiting for this in the mail for over two months and I thought it was wasn't gonna arrive I was about to dispute this charge on my credit card I was just tired of waiting I called customer service and they're like no we're not gonna give you a refund just be patient with shipping and so I was trying to understand you guys know I don't play with a lot of false lashes I try to just use mascara and I'm happy with that I don't know if you know if you notice at all but my eyes aren't very proportional looking. One is a little droopier than the other. I don't know if you can tell. Honestly, I find that um, when I put on falsies, I feel like it magnifies that difference. And so it doesn't look good on me, I feel like. Although for some makeup looks, it does really elevate the look. When you have a bold look, it almost isn't done without false lashes. Today, um, yeah, we're gonna play with magnetic lashes. This is a more expensive eyelash set. I've actually tried the Ardell Magnetic Eyelashes before and they were just a fail for me. Just go ahead and watch the video up here if you'd like to see how I applied the Ardell Magnetic Eyelashes. Um, this one is different. The magnets are actually on the eyeliner formula. I don't know what to expect. I'm excited to oh, try Just this. a little bit about the brand. It is cruelty free and the claim is that the eyelashes last up to nine months with continued use. This brand is actually based from Paris, France. I didn't even know that until after I bought the product. I thought this was a US brand and when I looked it up, it turns out they're based in Paris. Although this company ships all over the world, which is amazing so you can kind of tell this is a very reputable brand i actually learned about this brand from courtney kardashian i saw one of her instagram posts and she was putting on magnetic lashes and i was like okay i have to try that and i was always interested with this magnetic eyeliner and false lashes combo and just so you know there's so many so many brands out there that have this kind of idea it's not new i'm probably actually a little late in the game already let's go so. ahead and try these i've never tried them before this is my first impressions on this product so i can't wait when i got the box as you can see it looks so pretty although the packaging is like a velvet material almost like leathery material but you can tell especially with my sweaty hands <laughs> that it picks up fingerprints all the time and so this box can look dirty really quick um, but inside it has such a nice presentation so you get this when you open it up and you get this note which I can't read at all all of the instructions are in what French <laughs> comment down below what you guys think is this language right here i wish they had like instructions for english you know what i mean um but that's okay so here is what's in the box so you get this one is the magnetic eyeliner and this one is the false lashes over here at the top are those kind of tweezers that help you apply the eyelashes and then when you pull out this one right here, this is where the eyelashes are. And I'll let you know what style I personally picked for the false lashes. I have a lot of wispy eyelashes, the one that kind of flares out on the side, but I wanted one that had all of the same lengths in one. This is curious to me because you can still see the magnetic strips on the eyelashes and I was kind of expecting 
the eyelashes to not have those anymore and it would just stick like glue to the magnetic eyeliner that they provided here. So maybe that's not the case. Also, this eyelash applicator feels really good, like heavy duty, like it's really well made. So that's interesting right there and it has their name. Just turn it over. I know it's upside down. So we'll see. I'm not the best at applying eyelashes or even eyeliner because um, I actually just don't like the look on me with falsies and also with um, eyeliner. But, um, you know, we'll figure it out together. This is the eyeliner right here. This is what it looks like. It's like a felt tip applicator. I have my full face on and the only thing missing is the false lashes. I put on mascara today. That's what I always do when I apply false lashes anyway. I'm excited to try it. Hopefully it's not as a big fail as my other um, try on with the Ardell magnetic lashes. Let's go ahead and do this. Oh, you know what's so funny? I went in their website and I looked up tutorials on how to apply these and there was a video about this person putting on the eyeliner so I'm gonna put ooh, it's very thick I kind of winged it out a little bit but yeah there wasn't any instructions as to how to apply this magnetic liner there's like a YouTube video of it but there is nothing about you know how long do you let it dry can you apply the eyelashes right away you know right now I'm feeling that it's really really wet on this side I kind of wiped off the brush a little bit What I like about this is that it's easy enough to put on without making mistakes. It smells funny though. It smells like feet. Okay, so I winged it out a little bit, although I don't know if that's necessary because um, I'm not going to have like the lashes out here. All right. There's a magnet around the packaging too, which helps the eyelashes stick onto the packaging. Now let's go ahead and try it. I'm excited. I hope this is easy. All right. Okay, okay. Let's try the other one before I give you my thoughts. Here's the second one, wish me luck. And oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oops, look at that. Oh my goodness. Oh. What do you guys think? Okay, I think I bought the most subtle lashes and now I kind of wish that it was a little bit thicker But I mean, I think this is just me. This is just right. I think if I bought something that was a little bit um, more fuller 
then I wouldn't be able to use it day to day. But this one is something that I would so use every single day. Let me just kind of curl the lashes together and kind of make sure that my real eyelashes stick to the false eyelashes. Let me gather my thoughts about these false lashes a bit. Okay guys, I am back. I actually put on a mascara on my bottom lashes just to kind of balance out the two. Here are my thoughts. I love them. I am in love with the ease and the application of this magnetic mascara. If you struggle with doing a liquid liner, then it might be a little difficult because that kind of affects the entire look. But, um, I, I mean, I struggle myself too because I don't put on liquid eyeliner all the time. I feel like it doesn't look good on me, but I feel like this is a tad bit easier than lash glue. I'm curious whether the eyeliner is waterproof. Is it gonna bleed? I mean, what is this formula about? We know that the magnets on the false eyelashes actually stick to the liquid eyeliner so maybe it's waterproof the ease of application it's super easy the magnet stuck onto the eyeliner so quickly like i was approaching my eyelashes you know it just went whoop, like that and it just attached right away to the base of my eyelashes which i love the best part of this is that you don't have to worry about eyelash glue it's so comfortable and i feel like this is so much more comfortable than the other false lashes that i've tried i feel like it's just perfectly sitting on my eyes right now it's not irritating me it's not poking me in the eye this side right here you can kind of tell that it's a little bit up. I just push it back down and it's perfect. It kind of finds that perfect spot where you want it to be and it just sticks to the magnet. So it's looking really good. Even if you're just a beginner at makeup for special occasions, this is something that you could just easily put on yourself. There's no learning curve for this, I feel like. Anybody can do it. I wish I bought another style. I mean, this is so pretty. Actually, the style is pretty. I'm not complaining. So, okay, so I'm back. My phone overheated again. Definitely a thumbs up. It feels high quality. The packaging is on point. You get all three of these for around um, I'll put the pricing down on the screen. You get all three of these for like around $40 or $50, I believe. You guys, when I first bought these lashes, they were only $49.99. And with the discount, they cost me $35. And shipping was free, of course. But now that I looked them up on their website, they're $79. It is on sale for $54, but... Still, that is some overpriced eyelashes in my opinion. There's a 30% off code that you could use on their website. If the code is still there, I'll make sure to link it in the description box below so you can check that out. And now all I have to do is buy the eyelashes by themselves because I already have the eyeliner magnet and also the tweezers. So I don't necessarily have to have this entire set. Um, although for if you're like a first time buyer, you might want to get the entire set. Um, it comes with whatever lashes that you like. I think I'm definitely going back and buying another style. I want to try something that's more full. Although this is so pretty because it's like long enough. I kind of like this eyelashes that's a little bit more separated in a way. So you can see what's behind it, which is the eyeshadow. They ship all over the world, so that's a good thing. I hope you guys enjoyed this video or learned something this is gonna be my go-to lashes for a very long time and I'm definitely gonna make sure I get my money's worth but yeah I do want to try 
buy other styles from them. I think it's definitely worth it. It's so simple to use. It's non-irritating. And this is like 100% cruelty-free makeup. So that's nice. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, like, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I post videos once a week on beauty and skincare reviews as well as some unboxings and a little bit of lifestyle. So we do everything around here. Comment down below if you've tried this brand at all. If you did, what style did you like from this brand? Let us know down in the comments below. With that said, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And I hope I was able to take your mind off of, you know, your busy day and all your worries because for me personally, this is kind of how I drown my worries away. I hope that I did the same for you guys. I'll definitely see you back in my corner soon. Bye!